All right, you legends. Do you want to know something? Do you want to know something really interesting? The number one reason why people lose clients and go high level is because the platform is just way too complicated. It's too tech savvy. Not only that, but one of the most painful things is having to hop on one-on-one -on -one calls with your clients to explain the same repetitive tasks that you have to do for every single person that is new to your platform. It is repetitive. It takes a ton of time out of your day. A little bit of a cherry on top, user onboarding. One of probably the most difficult parts of the entire process, which if you go search on YouTube for how to onboard users in the high level, you will find some of the most intricate, difficult to follow instructions on how to build custom forms and automations to onboard people into your platform. And trust me, I've tried them, I really have. And some of them are great, some of them work fine, but I wanted to try something new because I've tried PDF documents, I've tried YouTube videos, I've tried Loom video libraries, I've tried Scribe. Still, all of these just become too difficult and too task heavy for clients to follow and they still will not understand how powerful the platform is or how to actually use it. This is something that I've created, which is called onboardingwidget.com. It took me weeks of trial and error, banging my head against the keyboard to try and get it to work the way I want it to work. The whole idea of this app is to allow you to make customized onboarding widgets that embed directly into your Go High Level dashboard so users can simply click a button it pops up this little widget that has all of your different steps with attached loom videos, add images, add custom links. Anything you need a client to understand or know about your platform, this is their go-to resource to go and figure out what they need to do and how to use your platform. This has been the best overall solution that I have found. I'm gonna give you guys a complete walkthrough on how to get set up and how to build your own steps to start using this onboarding widget. Okay, so let me show you guys what this onboarding tool looks like inside of the Go High Level dashboard. So when you install the code snippet that onboardingwidget.com provides you, you're gonna basically just paste that into your company white label section right here where you can add custom JS. This is at the agency level. So in your agency account, settings, company, and then right here at the top, you'll see white label. From there, scroll down and you can see JS or custom JavaScript. And this is the code that it provides to you. Now, once you save this code, you can go into any of your sub accounts and you'll see that this button right here gets added. So once a person clicks this, it will then open up the actual onboarding widget, just like this right here. And now you can see that this is the one that I've built for my own company. And this is the onboarding flow that I personally use. These are the same things that I've had to explain to clients time and time and time again and I was over it. So it was wasting tons of my time. I had to handhold people through one-on-one -on -one calls all the time trying to do these very basic functionalities of high level just to get their account set up and running. So if we look here, you can customize your title. We can customize the colors. You can add your logo. We have a progress bar. And here's where you can go ahead and add all of your different widget steps. So the first one I have is add a payment method to your account and then update your company details. Time to get your system use business number. And then I attach these Loom videos where people can open them watch the videos, they can go ahead and drag this to the side, they can make the widget bigger if they like, just like that, and then we can play the video, and then quite literally follow along as they watch the video, cool, go ahead, follow the steps along with it, and then once they're done, they can close out this window, they can go ahead and you know make this maybe fit a little bit better on their screen, they can grab this and move it over, and then they can check this off the list, boom, each time they check a task off, that will be tracked in your analytics so you can view your widgets analytics and see how many people are completing them, how many times they were viewed, and how many steps people complete for each widget. So then we can scroll down here, phone number purchase, notify our team. So they can click this link right here and you'll see that this goes to a high level form which we built, which all they have to do is input their name and their email for their account and then click this and it will notify us to let us know that that client is ready for A2P registration. So you guys can kind of get an idea of how easy this is to have in your account and how beneficial this would be. Again, you can scale this, the users can make this kind of fit however they want, and they can still interact with their account while they have the widget open, which is just awesome. So let's close this and we're gonna go over to a new tab. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna search onboardingwidget.com. And this is the front landing page right here. You can see revolutionary onboarding for go high level. First thing you do, go ahead and log on in, create your account so you can get jumped into the main dashboard right here. And in the main dashboard, you can see all of your different widget types right here. And to start off, you're gonna go ahead and create your first widget. So let's go up here and hit create widget. And this is gonna load our first widget to create here. So you can see the first step is widget information. 
And guys, this is insanely simple to set up. So all you do right here, add your widget name. We're just gonna say test video widget. You can add description. This is a test video widget description. And then we can go over to the logo and we can add a new logo to it. So from here, you would add your own company logo. Okay. So it says right here, your logo has uploaded successfully and you can even add GIFs if you would like. So this is the onboarding widget GIF right here or the loader that we created. So from here, we can go ahead and save the widget. Make sure that you save your progress as you go through each step. And the next section right here is content. This is gonna be where you create your own steps for your widget. Let's go ahead and add our first step. And just for the sake of this video, we're just gonna call this step one. And we're just gonna say step one description. Cool. And I'm gonna go grab a loom link. As you can also see, you can add an image, you can add a video, and you can add your own button. Now we're gonna add a video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste in that link and click on save. And you'll see a quick little preview once this loads of the video that you are embedding. From there, you can go ahead and add a new step or go back and customize this however you like. And you can go on and do this so on and so on for every single one of your steps, as you can see here. I'm just gonna put step three and step four. And there we go. And let's go ahead and add a button to this one. So let's look at this link right here. This is the button that we added, which basically opens a separate page for somebody to fill out a high level form to let our team know that they have successfully purchased their phone number and it's ready for A2P registration. So let's go back over here and we're gonna go add this link into this little widget step. So right here, let's say click the link, the link below and let's add a button. So first we can set the button text. And for this one, I'm just gonna say, click me. And for the URL, we're gonna paste that URL in there. And then we have the option to open the link in a new tab or in the same window. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and have the link open in a new window. Uh, you have a button style, you have primary, secondary, or outline. So for now, we're gonna go with primary and I'm just gonna click right here and hit save button. And now we can see that the button's been added. And let's go back up here and we're gonna click on save widget to make sure that we save all of our steps. And we can see widget created. And now our next step is styling. Here is where you can add different colors to your widget so you can customize it to fit your branding style. So for this one, I'm just gonna make it a little bit of an off-white. And then for the card background color, I'm gonna make it a little bit more off-white or a little bit darker for this sake, something like that. And let's, uh, let's go with title color, how's white look? No. Now let's, let's keep these, let's keep the text color black. And then for the buttons, we can customize the button style. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna use the blue that we use in our account right here. This is just the company style that we use. I'm gonna use that blue. Button text, I'm gonna keep that as white. And then layouts and font, you can go ahead and customize the, the border radius right here. And then once your styles have been set, Again, go back up to the top and click on save widget. Good, we're almost done. Now our next step and final step is going to the embed top tab section right here where we can go ahead and get our code so we can embed it into high level. You have the option to show a progress bar or don't show the progress bar. I would say, honestly, keep the progress bar so people can track where they're at. Your next step is the widget position and then the widget embed code. There are two options to how you can embed this link. You can either use the custom go high level coded embed which will generate this code right down here, or you can also use a direct link. The way that the direct link works is exactly how it sounds. You'll get a direct link right here, which you can then copy. And just as for an example, I'm gonna open a new tab, paste in that link that it gives us, and you'll see that we can then visually see how our widget looks in a full screen mode. So let's go back over here. And for this one, of course, we're gonna do a go high level embed. And then down below, we can go ahead and customize the button's appearance. So let's go ahead and enable this right here. And for the button text, I'm gonna say something like, open me, customize this how you want, add your own. <laughs> uh, button colors, use gradient background. I think gradient buttons just stand out so much better, especially if you stylize your go high level. Do this tastefully, don't make it look super popped out and like, do this tastefully, okay? So I like the way that this looks out of the gate. Uh, just using this like little blue. Maybe I can make this like an aqua blue. That kind of looks cool. Uh, let's make this one maybe a little bit darker, something like that. And let's go a little bit darker on this one too. Yeah, that looks cool. And let's change this to diagonal. Nice, that looks good. Your custom embedded code is ready to go. 
So we can go ahead and copy this code. And now we're gonna go to the agency login inside of Go High Level. And let's go to this one right here. As we can see, app.gohighlevel.com. And again, you're gonna go to settings, company, and then white label in company. Scroll down and you'll see custom JS or custom JavaScript. I'm gonna remove the button that I previously had installed and I'm gonna add the new code that it has just provided us. And you can see right here, onboardingwidget.com, test video widget, so we know what widget this is. Now let's go ahead and click out here and save changes. It's gonna give you a warning. Don't worry about it, proceed. And now if we go back over to a sub account and refresh the page, we will then see our new button added to the top nav bar. And successfully, we can see that the button has been added right up here to our nav menu. And if I go ahead and click that, it opens up our new created widget right here. So we can go ahead and move this and we can go ahead and scale this up a little bit if we'd like. And there we go. That's all there is to it. Literally four steps, click copy code, embed it. And now you have a custom onboarding widget. And if you do create an account or you've given this a shot, go let me know how you found it. So that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm gonna go watch the fight now and I will see you guys in the next video.